Hi, my name is AK, and you're watching this flashback loose arsenal. festival looks. Uh, first up we have a sweatshirt that I have had for a while and the sleeves were a little short on it. I was actually giving it to Goodwill and I pulled it out for this project. So the first thing that we're going to do obviously is to cut off the sleeves and you have the option of seam ripping them and uh, turning it in and or hemming it. But because this fabric doesn't unravel and because I'm a naturally lazy person, I didn't bother doing that. The second thing is picking the fabric to go on the back. Um, I had multiple options here, but I ended up going with the one that uh, matched the same stretch as the t-shirt. Uh, so it's just an old sheet. And then cut that out to the length that you want it. You can obviously measure if you want to do that. But again, lazy me, and I just kind of cut what looked right. The next thing is to cut out whatever saying you want. Um, I went with language, or sorry, uh, music has no language barrier. And um, this is the most time consuming part. Uh, it definitely takes the longest cutting those out. And then the second longest part is sewing them in. Next up, we have um, a green pleather jacket, or it's a fake leather jacket, I'm not really sure, um, that I had. And it was kind of falling apart a little bit, and so um, that was also in the get rid of bucket, or the to use as scrap fabric bucket. But I pulled it out and then started trying a whole mess of things on it. Alright, so the first idea I had with this jacket was to strip it, or shred it. Um, I had seen a couple of jean jackets like this with shredded backs and I thought it would be a cool idea to do with this one since the jacket was falling apart. The problem was that it hung strangely. I don't think the jacket sat tauntly enough, um, but basically the, the shreds hung and you could see the back side of them and it, just, it, didn't, it did not look good. Um, after I finished shredding it, I took the lining out and um, that's when I put it on and realized that I didn't like it. So my next idea was to put fabric behind it. So I was considering this fabric at first. And I did have the genius idea of using the lining that I had cut out as a pattern. And that would have been smart and brilliant and I probably wouldn't have had such a big fail on this jacket if I had followed that. But me being the lazy person I was, thought it would just be fine if I cut out a square. Well, I was very wrong. And there goes my last opportunity of saving this project. So instead of using the lining as a pattern, um, I did the next best thing and turned it into fringe. So I folded it in half and then cut down the middle and then cut it into strips after cutting that neck off. This was actually one of the few parts of this uh, project that actually turned out and held up pretty good. Like this was a while ago and I still have that jacket and the fringe is still there. So this, I was pretty proud of using the lining as fringe. That, I feel like that was pretty smart. And it took a, it, it was pretty time consuming. This part was pretty simple. Um, there were two layers, so you seam rip the leather first and then the silk lining. And then once I was done with that, I started um, inserting the fringe that I divided in half. I didn't go all the way up the sleeve on this because I didn't want to overdo it. So I just went up a couple of inches or so. And then I pinned each one individually. So there's the time consuming part. Then after I was done with all of those, I didn't quite use up all of the lining, but I did use up 
a little bit of it, or most of it. Um, I took it to the sewing machine and stitched it down. I also ended up stitching that fabric to the back, but um, I turn, it turned out I did not like that at all. So I came up with the next best thing, which was to just cut out the back entirely. So that's what I did. And I don't know what's up with the filming here. I guess it was, thought it was cool to move around like that. Anyway, so the rest of this is just basically me struggling with putting this lace on. So enjoy the next couple of minutes of me struggling. shirt. The shirt itself wasn't really that bad. I just didn't like it and I never wore it so I was gonna get rid of that and I decided I wanted to change it up. I took the buttons off of and made it a lace-up and then uh, shredded the sleeves and then applique the back. I was really really happy with how this turned out. So the first step on this one is to cut the sleeves and my original idea with this one was just to slit the sleeves but I ended up liking um, cutting them and then tying them so I started off on this side with one cut in line with the armhole and then I cut the sleeves in half um, all the way down the top until I reached like where that cuff is or the, the where the cuff starts and then I just started slitting it um, till the bottom of there again but I slit a lot more than I intended to, so um, later on you'll see that I actually cut excess off so that there wasn't too many ties. And then I just started tying the knots, and I tied them as loosely as possible, um, or as close to the ends as possible, so that the um, sleeve wouldn't be too tight. But I skipped about every um, three there so that there wouldn't be too many knots and it wouldn't be a little overdone. And that's me cutting off the extra straps or slits or whatever these things are called. The next step I wanted it to make it a lace up. So um, on one side you already have buttonholes so you don't have to worry about that side. On the other side you just cut the buttons off like I'm doing here and then I'm going to take, uh, I do not remember what this thing is called, but you mm. use it to punch holes into um, belts. So I just used that and the exact same place where the buttons were I punched a hole so that it was already level with the other side that had buttonholes in it. And then I just laced that up and I can't find footage of me doing that so just imagine it. Okay the next step is um, cutting these flowers out of this old vest that I had laying around and these are going to go on the back. Um, the thing that was painful about these was that I was cutting through multiple layers which while doing it I thought was really stupid but then I realized that I could use the lining to add dimension to the flowers when I put them on the back. Um, so next I just stitched these to the back and then added an uh, old applique that I had that just had my initials on it. And then we were all done. But not 
not least, I also have a skirt that I made out of a dress and a jean short. We're gonna take the shorts, turn them into a jean skirt, and then attach this bottom part of this dress to it, and then add some slits, and it's gonna be really great. Okay, I'm starting this project off with a pair of jean shorts and a sleeveless black evening gown. The first step is to seam rip the crotch open, and then I also seam ripped up the front and back seams. After I was done seam ripping everything, um, I messed around with the crotch, uh, laying it around until it laid flat. Um, you may have to take the hem out, uh, and on the back you will probably have to cut off parts of it because there's a lot of excess in the back. But I just messed around with it until it laid the way I wanted it to. And then I pinned it and uh, stitched it closed. After that, I seam ripped the hem open and trimmed everything until it was all the same length. In hindsight, I would definitely have um, had the back longer than the front because, well, you do have a butt and it does have to go over it. The next step is cutting the top off of the evening gown. Um, I would definitely suggest measuring the skirt and cutting it the length that you want it to. I just cut um, at the waist and it turned out to be really way too long for me. When you have your finished shorts and your hem is seam ripped and you know everything is laid out um, evenly, then you just take the skirt and put right sides together and pin it to the bottom of the shorts and then stitch it down. Once you're all done stitching it down, um, I added one more thing which was two slits up the front and I just followed the panels of the skirt and you can either cut these up or I seam ripped them. And then that leads us to the last step which would be after you seam ripped or cut you'll need to finish that edge and you can do one of two things you can either just hem it um, but mine had two layers so I decided I would sew the lining to the top and that's it after you're done sewing those two together or finishing that seam you're all done with the skirt that's all I have today. I would really love to know what you guys want to see more of. Do you, you want to see more tutorial side or do you want to see more of the diary side? Honestly, if you have anything that you would like me to see make, um, please comment that below and I will definitely try to make that happen. So if you liked this video and you want to see more, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you would like to see more of this specific video, please hit the like button and comment below. Um, until next time, bye.